iOS comes with some fantastic functionality for handling networking. And in particular, the URL session class makes it surprisingly easy to send and receive data. If we combine that with Codable to convert Swift objects to and from JSON, and URL request, which lets us configure exactly how data should be sent, we can accomplish great things in about 20 lines of code. First, let's create a method we can call from our place order button. Add this to checkout view. Func place order. Now modify the place order button to this. Button self dot place order. Inside place order, we have to do three things. First, convert our current order object into some JSON data that can be sent. Second, prepare a URL request to send our encoded data as JSON. And third, run that request and process the response. The first of those is straightforward, so let's get it out of the way. We've made the order class conform to Codable, which means we can use JSON encoder to archive it by adding this code to place order. Guard let encoded equals try question mark JSON encoder dot encode order. Else print fail to encode order return. The second step, preparing a URL request to send our data, requires some more thought. You see, we have to attach data in a very specific way so a server can process it correctly, which means we have to provide two extra pieces of data beyond just our order. The first of those is the HTTP method of a request, which determines how data should be sent. There are several of these methods, but in practice only get, I want to read data, and post, I want to write data, are used much. We want to write data here, so we'll be using post. And the second item is the content type of the request, which determines what kind of data is being sent. This in turn affects the way the server treats our data. This is specified in what's called a MIME type, which was originally made for sending attachments and emails, and has several thousand highly specific options. So the next code for place order will be to create a URL request, configure it to send JSON data using a HTTP post, and attach our data. Of course, the real question is where to send our request, and I don't think you really want to set up your own web server in order to follow this tutorial. So instead, we're going to use a really helpful website called recres.in. It lets us send any data we want, and will automatically send the same data back. This is a great way of prototyping network code, because you'll get real data back from whatever you send. So add this code to place order now. Let URL equals URL string HTTPS colon slash slash recres.in slash API slash cupcakes. Exclamation mark. Var request equals URL request URL URL. Request dot set value application slash JSON for HTTP header field content dash type. Request dot HTTP method equals post. Request dot HTTP body equals encoded. Now notice how I added a force unwrap for the URL string initializer. Creating URLs from strings might fail because you might have inserted some gibberish. But here I hand typed the URL so I can see it's always going to be correct. There are no string interpolations in there that might cause problems. At this point, we're all set to make our network request, which we'll do using URL session dot shared dot data task and the URL request we just made. Remember, if you don't call resume on your data task, it won't ever start, which is why I nearly always write the task and call resume before actually filling in the body. So go ahead and add this to place order. URL session dot shared dot data task with request data response error in. We'll handle a result here and we'll put resume after the task straight away. Now for the important work. We have to read the result of our request. If something went wrong, perhaps because there was no internet connection, we'll just print a message and return. So add this to place order. Guard let data equals data, else print, no data in response, error, dot localized description, nil coalescing, unknown error, Return. 
If we make it past that, it means we've got some sort of data back from the server. Because we're using recres in, we'll actually get back the same order we sent, which means we can use JSON decoder to convert that back from JSON to an object. To confirm everything worked correctly, we're going to show an alert containing some details of our order. But we're going to use the decoded order we got back from recres.in. Yes, this ought to be identical to the one we sent. So if it isn't, it means you made a mistake in our coding. Showing alerts requires properties to store the message and whether it's visible or not. So please add these two new properties to check out for you now. At state, private var, confirmation message equals empty string. At state, private var, showing confirmation equals false. We also need to attach an alert modifier to watch that boolean and show an alert as soon as it's true. So add this modifier to the geometry reader in checkout view. Dot alert is presented, dollar showing confirmation. Alert, title, text, thank you, message, text, confirmation message. Dismiss button, dot default, text, okay. And now we can finish off our networking code. We'll decode the data that came back, use it to set our confirmation message property, then set showing confirmation to true, so the alert appears. If the decoding fails, that is, if the server sent back something that wasn't in order for some reason, we'll just print an error message. Add this final code to place order just inside the completion closure for data task with. If let decoded order equals try question mark, JSON decoder dot decode order dot self from data. Self dot confirmation message equals your order for decoded order dot quantity times order dot types decoded order dot type lowercase cupcakes is on its way. Self Showing confirmation equals true, else, and then print invalid response from the server. With that final code in place, our networking code is complete. And in fact, our app is complete too. If you try running it now, you should be able to select the exact cakes you want, enter your delivery information, then press place order to see an alert appear. And we're done. Well, I'm done. You still have some challenges to complete.